All right, everyone. We're going to try this Omni Oven again. After some good advice from people, I went on Amazon and ordered the rack that will go down in here. I've already sprayed the inside of the pan just to make sure the rolls don't stick. And we're using the same type of rope, same brand of rolls. This Walmart brand. So, whew, let's get this baby started. And you just take this and it sits right down in there. That way the rolls don't directly sit on that. And another thing, the vice was Kathleen Klein, she's an omni oven queen. She said, turn that burner down real low. And see, last time I didn't. And she goes, it may take a little longer to cook them. Not exactly like the instructions say on there. So we're going to kick them low and slow. So let's get these rolls a going. Okay, we got them all placed in there. Now we're going to put this baby on. And I'll have my taste tester available for at the end to see if they're if I burn them. Last time people didn't get to hear it because I turned the camera off too soon. But I set the smoke alarm off in the RV. So let's hope I don't do that again. So let's get this on the burner. All right, I got the burner turned down as low as I can, the flame, I mean. So we're going to get this started, and we'll keep checking back on it and see what it's doing. We started this at 3.50, 3 o'clock, 10 minutes till 4, okay? So we're going to see how long it takes. Let's go. Oh, I forgot to tell you, the rack you can get on Amazon for $19.99 or you can order off the Omni Oven website for that. And I see the purpose, it keeps it from, you know, direct heat on from that pan there. Whoop, that baby hot. Oh, burnt my hand. That baby hot. Oh. Like I said, I got the temperature turned down as far as I can. We'll see what I'm doing here. And that's what it's at now. So, we'll keep checking on it. Okay, 10 minutes later. Let's see what's going on. Ooh, they're looking good. They're not burning. Whoa. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, Tucker. Wait. Yeah, so far no smoke alarms going off. I'm doing what people tell me. Low and slow. Now it's 410. The temperature's come up a little bit there because it was right over there at 100. Now it's up here. So we'll check up. Check up. Oh, Lordy. Popping. Guess what? They're not burning. But they're not done yet. As you can see, barely see that flame in there. I ain't burning myself again. Everybody said make sure it's over the center, and I didn't quite have it on the center, so now it is. But I still got that flame way down there. I don't know if you can see it, how low it is. And there's the temperature. They've been cooking now for uh, approximately close to 20, 20 minutes, 21 minutes, something like that. Get my taste tester over here in a little bit and try them out. All right, now it's 420. Let's see what we got here. Let me take one out here and test. 
this to see. I don't know if it's done or not. Hmm. Maybe just a smidge longer. But guess what? They're not burnt. <clears throat> I think they're just a little bit longer. I would say maybe another five minutes. Yeah, I'd say about that. Maybe another five minutes on here. My taste tester said he thought they were doing fine. We'll just we'll go we'll make it go another three minutes just to play everything safe. But so far that I think believe that rack is really making a big improvement. That and listen to what everybody was telling me. Keep that flame low. Keep cooking low and slow. I want to thank Kathleen Klein and. Well, there was all of you was very helpful. She dabbled, ventures, give me instructions and tell me what I did wrong. So leave it in the comments if you have one. All the things that you cook on it. And be sure to give this video a like. And hit that subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications because we got some cool stuff coming. And guess what? The smoke alarm's not going off either. I always like to peek. Sorry. All right, I think I'm gonna go ahead and take these off. Because they seem to be done. And guess what? This gal ain't getting burnt. Let's see. Let me get my plate over here. I'm going to take them and put them over here because that thing is hot. Don't look bad, do they? Put them all over here. I didn't burn them. I didn't burn them. No smoke on my off. Turn that off. I think that rack really helped. I know some people don't use it at the herd, and some people say they did. No, don't look bad. Ooh, now put my icing on them here in the mitt. And we'll get the big taste tester over here to try them out. But see, didn't burn. Yay, I conquered something, I think. I think. All right, now my true taste tester. Not burnt. Not burnt. Got ridges on. No, <laughs> I got icing on them too. They okay? Did I get them done? Too slow and slow, slowly. <laughs> So, after you devour the, the roll, then you'll tell me, huh? <laughs> Inside, perfect. Outside, it's just a little crunchy, but that ain't bad. Yeah, I mean, they're not burnt this time, so I really think that rack helps out a lot. It did make a difference. Yeah, because they weren't directly on the bottom to the direct heat source. That, and I listened to Kathleen and them and turned that burner down low and cooked them a lot slower. And I had put that, made sure that was over the, you know, you could see the, had it over the pilot, right. But someone asked me one day if you can use this on a electric stove. And the way I'm finding out you can't, it has to be a, a gas or, you know, those little outdoor propane stoves, whatever. That's what it's designed for. So this makes it great for car camping, tent campers. You know, 
Because I've seen people cook a lot of different things and other things. They cook a whole meal, some of them have. Let me try one more to make sure that I like Oh, okay. Try one more to make sure. Yeah. No, we're good. You weren't sure on the first one. Or the second one. Or the second. Or the third. <laughs> All right, guys. Oh, this might be fourth because they were eight of them, weren't they? Yeah, because we previously ate one to, okay. earlier to test it to see if they were done. <laughs> All right, guys. I'll see you on down the road. Be sure to hit that like button and subscribe button. You see you on down the road. Tucker, I'm sorry. You can't give your opinion on them. Tucker. Oh, oh, please, please, please. Oh, 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 please. No, Tucker. Ooh, pooey. But they are Tucker fruit. If I ever get a taste of one... Bye-bye. <sighs>